Raheem Sterling left the World Cup forcing him to miss the game against Senegal. Now, thankfully for England, they beat them 3-0. But what was the issue? Why did Sterling leave? It was reported that he was dealing with a family matter. It has now turned out that his family was targets of thieves at his London mansion this Saturday night while his wife and children were home. It's indicated by Sterling's family that they were met, were intruders in the break-in. And obviously Sterling was shaken and decided he needed to go home immediately to be with his family. There is not a timeline for her, him to return. Robbers took jewelry and watches. Uh, Police are investigating as to what has gone on in the scene and have left a security guard there to patrol the area. Chelsea star Sterling, a father of three, was also targeted by burgers when he played in Manchester City and lived in Cheshire in 2018. So unfortunately, this is not his first round in this situation. But the, ga the gang back then were scared away when the alarm system was activated and left empty handed. Fortunately, that's not the case this time. The three lions are saying the priority is for him to be with his family. We're going to support that and leave him to have as much time as he needs. He's going home. I don't want to put him under pressure. Sometimes football isn't the most important thing. Family should come first. Sterling has three children, his daughter and eldest, Melody Rose, as well as two sons, Tiago and Ty. England's captain, Harry Kane, added, Our thoughts are with him and his family. It's a private matter, but it's never easy to see one of your teammates and friends deal with something like that. I mean, that's obviously a horrifying situation for his wife or girlfriend, uh, and obviously the children. Uh, and I think sometimes, too, men feel they need to be the protectors, uh, and him not being there, I'm sure, is very difficult for him. We'll have to take it day by day. I'm sure Raheem will speak to the manager and take the best decision for him and his family. That's the most important thing. We send him our best wishes and hope to see him as soon as possible. Uh, again, it's unclear whether he'll return to Qatar ahead of the quarterfinals with France on uh, Saturday night. Um, I guess we'll have to see whether he's able to get things stabilized for his family. How does his family feel about him leaving? The very strange thing is this is not... Uh, a new phenomenon. Apparently, it's the latest string of burglaries on high-profile footballers. After a court heard earlier this year how former Arsenal and Chelsea star Ashley Cole accepted, I'm going to die, as mass raiders smashed into his home, binding his hands, and he held his young daughter. That's just terrifying. Uh, the legendary defender in January 2022 was watching Netflix when a mass gang were about to torture the former player by cutting off his fingers with electrician's pliers when the police suddenly arrived. Thankfully for that. They had prepared him for the ordeal by dragging him downstairs and making him think they were going to throw acid on his face or burn him alive. I think I'd rather have them cut off my fingers. <laughs> like, that's just uh, awful, awful. Meanwhile, Manchester United said this year they wouldn't review security after young star Tahith Chong was burglarized at knife point at his home, the fourth player to be raided in recent months. This sounds absolutely ridiculous. Um, from him, they took... Again, watches and jewelry. They also reportedly mocked his security system during the raid. 
Chong was the fourth Manchester United star to have his home burglarized in recent months after Paul Pogba, Victor Lindelof, and Jesse Lingard. So somebody's got a list of footballers and their homes and they're just pinging them off. Uh, Manchester City star Huao, or Zhao, I don't know how to say his name, Cancelo, was also the victim of a robbery with a defender sharing photos of his bruised face after thugs struck him during the raid on his house. So there's obviously a huge problem in the football world with athlete security. I hope that several teams and organizations uh, get together, help support, especially the ones in England, because it seems like they seem to be the ones targeted the most. Um, hoping these players are kept safe. Subscribe to Rovis Rants, hit the like button. We'll keep you up to date on more sports news. And don't forget to hit that bell. It keeps you notified when I do a stream.